If Georgia tight end Brock Bowers is available when the Bengals are on the clock with the 18th pick in the 2024 NFL draft, well, the Bengals, they should take him, which may sound like a crazy statement to some. The idea of him making it to 18 may sound insane to others, but let's get into why the Bengals should be in position to take something other than a trench pick at number 18. Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of allbengals.com. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. Make sure you check out all of our merchandise. You see that right there? Ooh, it's that CBT dad hat. Get yours at Rivertown Inquiry, rivertowninquiry.com. I also have the rope hat as well. I need to get I need to get one. We gave some away. I don't have the CBT rope hat. You can get yours, like I said, at rivertowninquiry.com. But the Brock Bowers discussion is kind of wild. Daniel Jeremiah mocked him to the Bengals in his latest mock draft. And he posted a gif of Brock Lesnar when asked about what the Bengals are going to do or what he expected the Bengals to do in the first round. And look, if Brock Bowers falls to 18, it's similar to the conversation last year that we had on CBT if B. John Robinson fell to 18 or fell to 28 at the time. He's the best player. And every single draft season, and if you've watched CBT, for the past couple of years, or if you've heard heard me on Locked On, or maybe the ESPN 1530 days, I've said it, and I'll say it every single year. You draft players, not positions. Position matters, no doubt. You're not taking a kicker at 18. The Bengals aren't taking a quarterback. But if a player like Brock Bowers is there, someone that you can build your offense around, an offensive playmaker like him, a weapon like him, then you take him, and you thank the NFL for overthinking it. And I'm not sure it's going to happen. I do think it could happen. And the reason I think it could happen is because you could see multiple tackles going off the board. I mean, six tackles, you know, you, you could certainly see that, or five offensive linemen, six offensive linemen, four quarterbacks, three wide receivers. Maybe you get a fourth wide receiver in there and you look up and there's a couple defensive tackles, a couple corners, and I just went past 18 players. But you get the point is there is a, a very real possibility that it could happen. And part of it has to do with this tight end market over the past couple of years. Last year, the tight end depth was there in the draft. And there were multiple guys that went top 35 that made an impact. And so those teams aren't looking at tight end. There will be teams that are in on Dalton Schultz and free agency, that are in on uh, Noah Fant and free agency, that are in on insert whatever tight end you want to name, Hunter Henry. And maybe the Bengals are one of those teams. But to me, Brock Bowers, there's a chance because of positional value. Because similar to Dalton Kincaid, he fell in the draft and he had some injury issues. Okay, well, Sam Laporta fell in the draft too. Brock Bowers, he's a plug-and-play day one game changer. Much like last year with Dalton Kincaid and Jameer Gibbs. Those were the two that I had pegged as guys that if they're there at 28, you go get them. Neither one made it there. Now at 18, the Bengals are in position to potentially get one of those guys. And it would be Brock Bowers. Who knows? if he makes it there or not. But what I do know is he's awesome after the catch. He's good blocking in space, which is what you want. You won't necessarily necessarily line him up next to one of the tackles, but you signed Drew Sample for that. Brock Bowers could help bring you, with all the T. Higgins debate and dilemma and what's going to happen with him, he can bring you into the new age of Bengals offense where the offense evolves and it's built around Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Brock Bowers. Doesn't mean anything if T's still on the roster, it still works. But it's, it would give you another element, another option, and make it that much harder to stop the Bengals' offense. So I get it with trenches. I understand it's a deep tackle class. I get there are multiple defensive tackles. Johnny Newton, someone a lot of people like. A lot of people like J.C. Latham. Others think that Amarius Mims. We're going to talk about a lot of those guys, especially at the Combine next week when we will be in, in, in Indianapolis for it. But if Brock Bowers is there, I'm just going to put it out there now. He's probably going to be the best player on the Bengals board. And being the guy who, and I should probably get with Rivertown and make draft players, not possessions, that's the official draft slogan of Cincinnati Bengals talk. And it will be for the, the rest of time. Sorry, Andrew, you don't get any input here. Brock Bowers is going to be the best player. So is his position as valuable as some? Eh, tight end, no. But it would be really valuable. And it would make opposing defenses 
that much that they, they would be stressed trying to deal with the the Bengals and dealing with Burrow and Chase, potentially Higgins, at least for this year, and Brock Bowers. So I'm all in on Brock Bowers. Would you be open? Would you be happy if the Bengals pick Brock Bowers? I've seen social media. I think it's kind of split from a, a fan perspective. A lot of people want the tackle, whether it's offensive tackle or defensive tackle, and there are others that are totally open to the Brock Bowers pick. Me, I'm never going to argue with giving Joe Burrow another weapon. Certainly someone like Brock Bowers would do that. Plug-and-play starter. He's the fourth-ranked prospect up on Lance Zerline's board of NFL.com. And another reason why he could fall, I think he's going to be smaller than some hope and that these NFL teams hope going into the combine when he measures. He'll probably be 6'3", 235. That's fine. I'm going to send out measurements right now, actually. Brock Bowers, I've joked with about this on, on Locked On. Brock Bowers is 5'10", 190. And I'll just send that to NFL teams across the country. All, all 31. I, I just won't send it to the Bengals. And then he'll fall to 18. The Bengals can take him and thrive. He would be a problem for opposing defenses. The Bengals should absolutely take him if he's there. And yet we have a lot to learn about the NFL draft. And over two months to do so, nine weeks, and we're going to ha have you covered here all off season long. So hit that subscribe button. Join the 42,000 plus that subscribe to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Thank you so much for doing so. And for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine signing off for now. Thank you so much for watching Cincinnati Bengals Talk.